Hey, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy X when at y'all with a brand new video. In this video, we're talking about the top five cards in the game at this current point. Now, I know I did one of these a little recent. Um, it might have been a little bit ago, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But we had so many new cards that the standings of these have completely changed. And I feel like it was something that we really really need to talk about because there's a lot of different cards that are up here we got a brand new Giannis, a brand new Kawhi. we got an mj we got vince carter we have two packable opals and it's february that is absurd like that is really absurd we have a point guard lebron james everything has completely changed up and i definitely feel like you guys deserve to kind of see what the new standings are in my opinion and all of that so i was checking out my youtube stats recently and 75 percent of the vi like people that watch my videos are not subscribed so if you guys watch my videos every day yes you the person that watches my videos every day but isn't hits hasn't hit that sub button hit that sub button it really does help me out a big amount so i would appreciate it if you guys could do that for me um coming in at the number five position is a card that i actually had but got rid of and again remember this is all my opinion if you guys have differing opinions let me know in the comment section below is Aaron Gordon. This card is insane. <laughs> like, I seriously really, really am in love with this card. Now, I recommend you run him at the small forward, not the power forward, but he's still good if you choose to run him either way. Now, obviously, he's 6'9", so he's got good size, but he has 26 Hall of Fame badges. There are opals that have less than that. Case in point, let's look at uh, Abaka. He has seven. <laughs> Has catch and shoot, volume shooter, tireless shooter, green machine, acrobat, relentless finisher, flexible release, put back boss, clutch shooter, lobstick finisher, quick first step, pick dodger, chase honors, clamps, downhill, showtime, intimidator, pro touch, pogo stick, tireless defender, fast break finisher, kisses and finisher, contact finisher, cross key score, pick and roller, fast break finisher, and 15 good gold badges, including quick draw and range extended. Look at that. That's so pretty, man. That's so good. It's so good. I love this card. His release is awesome. It's nice and quick. Gets it off nice. Because he barely has any lift. That's why it goes off super quick. But it's amazing. You can see the 96 driving layup, the 94 post fade, 89 post hook. This card is literally an opal. I mean, you can see 99 offensive and defensive overall. It's crazy. Has a 90 mid range, 93 point shot with that great um, release. A 90, 89 free throw. Sorry, 99 standing and driving dunk, which is crazy. 86 ball handle with great playmaking. He also has good speed, so he can speed boost. It's a wild. A 90 block, a 92 steal, a 94 printer defense, 89 interior, 89 offensive, and 90 defensive rebounding, 91 speed, 80 spin speed ball, and 91 acceleration. I would recommend giving him a speed with ball and like ball handling shoe, and he is glitchy, man. Like he is glitchy. Has a 95 lateral quickness, and he's just, he's seriously one of the best cards in the game. Like he is so fun to use. He's such a good card. Definitely recommend you guys go ahead and pick him up. Uh, coming in at the number four spot, which might be a little controversial, but once you see the cards that I have above this, I think is very warranted. And it is this Galaxy Opal Michael Jordan, who is insane. He's six foot six, so he's basically just another version of this Brandon Roy. But he has 38 Hall of Fame badges, volume shooter, catch and shoot, floor general, difficult shots, acrobat, tireless shooter, rentless finisher, slippery off ball, ice and veins, hot start, hot zone, hunter, which is the best badge in the game, or one of. Um, green Machine, Flex Release, Deep Vades, Dead Eye, Pickpocket, Pick Dodger, Clutch Shooter, Clamps, Defensive Leader, Heart Crusher, Interceptor, Intimator, Re Lightning Reflexes, Off Ball, Pest, Pogo Stick, Quick First Step, Tireless Defender, Trapper, Cause is a Finisher, Contact Finisher, Downhill, Fancy Footwork, Fast Break Finisher, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, Showtime, Slayer Finisher, and that is it. If you guys looked, Jordan has more Hall of Fame badges than this Pink Time and Mitch Richmond does in badges. Absolutely insane. Has 21 great gold badges as well. Also, you can see the diamond right there, break starter, corner specials, has quick draw in center two, which on a Michael Jordan card is just absurd. Has a 99 driving layup and 89, uh, 98, sorry, post fade, 82 post hook. The 99 mid range, which is absurd, a 94 free throw with Jordan basically with a coach boost and some floor general. He is a 99, absurd. A 95 free throw, 80 standing dunk, 98 driving dunk, 94 ball handle with great playmaking, 75 block, 98 steal. Uh, 98 perimeter defense, a 84 interior defense, 78 offensive, 80 defensive rebounding. Let me tell you guys, Jordan is a clamp god. He's the best defensive card in the game. It's really not even close. On the perimeter, there's no card that matches Jordan being able to clamp people down. It's crazy. Has a 98 speed, 96 speed with ball, and a 98 acceleration with a 99 lateral quickness. And again, he can dunk on everybody. He can play great defense, and he can shoot threes, play make well. There's nothing the card can't do. He's so good. And... It's crazy that we have three cards that I believe are better than him. It's just wild. Um, coming in at the number three spot is one of the new moments that we got and was the first Kobe Bryant All-Star MVP, Kawhi Leonard. This card 
I knew was going to be good as soon as I looked at those stats. His other pink diamond was insane with you know his gold quick draw and gold range extender. But this guy has Hoff. It's just absurd. Again, running about the small forward and not the power forward in my opinion. You can see he's six foot seven. 34 Hall of Fame badges as a pink diamond. You just saw Jordan had 38. A volume shooter, catch and shoot, difficult shots, acrobat, early center, shoot, Tyler shooter, slippery off ball, range extender, and quick draw. His release is quick as hell, and it's money. It is so green, it's insane. Green machine, pickpocket, pick dodger, chase honors, clamped, defensive leader, heart crush, interceptor, intimidator, lightning, reflex is off ball, pass, pogo stick, post move, lockdown, tireless defender, trapper, cause the finisher, contact finisher, dead eye, fancy footwork, fast break, finisher, clutch shooter, pro touch, showtime, quick first step, downhill, and 16 great gold badges. Gleam Fulger, you can see it right there. Uh, Dimer as well. Kawhi Leonard, I don't understand how they made a card this good, man. You can see he's a 95 driving layup, a 95 post fade, a 95 mid-range, 97 three-point shot with that half quick draw and range extender. It, it's done, man. It is done. He shoots the lights out. Uh, 92 free throw, the 80 standing dunk, 95 driving dunk, 86 ball handle with great playmaking, an 88 block, 88 interior defense. He clamps up. I seriously, 98 steal and 98 perimeter defense. Now I know I just said Michael Jordan is the best, you know, on the perimeter, but when it comes to all around, if we're talking small forward that can guard inside and outside on the perimeter, it's Kawhi Leonard. He seriously. Next to the guy that I have at number one is the best at playing defense everywhere. It's so crazy. A 80 offensive and defensive rebounding, a 96 steal, I mean 96 speed, 93 speed with ball, 95 acceleration with that 98 lateral quickness. And again, at six foot seven, great size, can do everything, and he's amazing. Coming in at number two is a card that I know a lot of people really, really wish they had, and it is this glitched pink diamond LeBron James. I got the chance to use him, and I swear to God. Before we got the guy that I was, I have at number one. I honestly thought this card was the best in the game. He's a six foot eight point guard. You can see he's definitely an opal nine on offensive and defensive overall. Has 28 um, Hall of Fame badges. Volume shooter, catch and shoot, difficult shots, floor general, Tyler shooter, acrobat, green machine, uh, relentless finisher, deep fades, dead eye, quick first step, put back, boss, pass fake, my show, needle thitter, pro touch, flashy passer, fast break finisher, lob city finisher, fancy forward, dimer, contact finisher, kiss the finisher, chase on artist, clamps, defensive leader, hard crusher, pogo stick, intimidator, and 30 great, great, great Hall of Fame, I mean, gold badges, you can see, they're in literally everything, you can see the range extender right there on LeBron, which is crazy, he's got that quick draw, and hot 700, amazing shooter, he can play make like the best of them. He's a six foot eight point guard. He blows a Magic Johnson and Ben Simmons out of the water. He's so good. A 98 driving lay it, 94 post fade, 89 post hook. Has a 95 mid range and an 89 three point shot with a coach boost, a shoe, and um, you really can't go wrong, honestly. I was gonna say and floor general, but he's got the Hoff floor general. So odds are you probably won't have another player with Hoff on the floor unless you use who I have at number one. As an 85 free throw, 85 standing dunk, 98 driving dunk, 89 ball handle with great playmaking, an 85 block, 80 into your defense, and 90 steal and 88 perimeter defense. Can play great all around. Uh, I just think other cards like Kawhi and who I have at number one are just a little bit better. Um, decent rebounding, but not too great, which is fine. A 95 speed, 94 speed ball, 94 acceleration, and a 92 lateral quickness. LeBron at PG, insane. He's good at small forward, but why would you get the glitch LeBron to run at small forward? Run him at PG. You got to do it. It's super cheesy. And then last but not least, coming in at number one, it's Pink Diamond Giannis onto the Kumbo. Um, I do recommend you put the shoe on him that I have, but he's a 99 offense and defense without it. He's six foot 11, run him at the power forward. It's so cheesy. He has 26 Hall of Fame badges, floor general, green machine, difficult shots, flexible release, acrobat, relentless finisher, quick first step, downhill, pro touch, fast break finisher, break setter, fancy forward, contact finisher, dimer, pick pocket, pick dodger, because the finisher, trapper, clamps, defensive leader, heart crusher, interceptor, intimidator, tireless defender, off ball pass, pogo stick, and 19 good gold badges, including quick draw. He's got some nice things like catch and shoot would really help him out like i mean really help him out you saw he had lob city passer and finisher there's the needle threader and he's got silver rebound chaser it should be gold or hoff if i'm being honest but hey it's okay um if you guys didn't see he's one of the few cards that has defensive leader and floor general both hall of fame which is just crazy and that's at your power forward he has a 98 driving layup the 74 post fade 80 post hook a 97 with shoe for his midi, an 85 with shoe for his three, normally an 82. 90 free throw, 85 standing, 97 and driving and dunk. 89 ball handle with shoe, normally an 86 and great playmaking. A 82 block, 89 interior defense, 96 steal and 96 perimeter defense. This is the best card when it comes to all around defense. Giannis is the best. He can clamp outside, he can clamp inside, he blocks shots, he gets steals. It's just. It's wild how good this card is. And because he's six foot eleven, he covers up so much of the floor. He can literally get anywhere. 
it's it's crazy how good this card is defensively and you can see why i said he should have a higher rebound chase there's a 94 defensive rebounding a 74 offensive that's only warranted silver at least should be gold in my opinion but hey it's okay because this card's still a beast even without it has a 97 speed 93 speed ball 97 acceleration with a coach boost and if you want another card that has some sort of floor general um he actually gets a 99 speed 99 speed ball and a 99 acceleration which is just crazy and you can see the 96 lateral quickness this Giannis is one of the best cards in the game one of the Giannis's that can actually shoot the lights out green easily as hell i love this card and i think it's so 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 good um again let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below make sure you guys hit the like on the video and remember if you're one of those people that watches all my videos but haven't hit that sub button please hit subscribe it helps me out a bunch and i would really appreciate it I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day on that road to 4.2K. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see y'all in the next video. And I got this soul.